As cases of COVID-19 continue to rise across our state, Governor Roy Cooper is extending phase three restrictions into early December. Previously, they were set to expire as early as this Friday. The governor is also lowering indoor gathering limits from 25 people to 10. Exemptions to the new limits include most businesses, worship, religious, spiritual gatherings, wedding ceremonies, funeral services, and other First Amendment activities. The outdoor mass gathering limit remains at 50 under phase three. Restaurants can stay open subject to capacity capacity limits and other requirements that are already in place and at 11 p.m. alcohol curfew will remain active. As a result, certain businesses will take another hit as limits on mass gatherings are adjusted again. Our Brandon Bates talked to the owner of a business that's typically slammed with catering orders right now leading up to the holidays. He explains how they're keeping their businesses going. Well, we talked to one of the owners here at Mrs. Pumpkin's Deli and Bakery. They say they had to make some big changes on the way that they cater for at large events, and now they have to focus on other parts of their business to make up for lost income. Chocolate with chocolate frosting. It's a good dessert right there. Mrs. Pumpkin's is a 35-year-old bakery and deli in Winston-Salem that specializes in catering. We, we typically do get pretty busy over the holidays. We start to see a lot, of, a lot of orders for fruit pies, pumpkin pies. All right, what would you like? During a time when caterers are typically preparing for holiday parties at offices or event venues. But it's for today, then. Many are looking for other ways to make money. Part of our challenge is letting people in the community know that we're still out here, we're still, we're still willing to serve lunch, or willing to do it in a way that makes everyone feel as comfortable and safe as possible. Governor Roy Cooper announced on Tuesday that North Carolina will stay in phase three of reopening for another three weeks, and the number of people allowed to gather inside is now adjusted from 25 people to 10. The science shows that the transmission of this virus is much greater indoors, and the more people who are gathered, the easier this virus can spread. When the news got to Mrs. Pumpkins, it wasn't really a shock, but the business will have to continue to evolve. We're going into it knowing that it's going to look different than it has in years past. And we're working around the clock with our team around the building here to make sure that we do everything we can to, to solve for the challenges we see. Hoyt says despite many people working from home, essential workers are now fueling a lot of their catering business. Where we're seeing a lot of our lunch volume come from is doctor's offices, nursing groups around the area. So I think that's, that's everything. Hoyt says they've made it a point to grow other parts of the business while catering demand is down. And they'll continue to work on other aspects of the business to carry their catering shortage as long as they have to. Thank you. Have a great night. And phase three and the new indoor mass gathering limit of 10 people max will remain in effect until December 4th. Reporting in Winston-Salem tonight, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News.